Hi there, this is Tim Verdau from TimVerdau.com and today I'm going to show you Motiony, a review of Motiony, and I'm going to show you how you can create a video engaging ads from a single picture. And let me actually show you a few examples. Uh, this is the normal picture that you can upload to Motiony and you can create something like this. As you can see, it's a living image right now. Let me show you another one. This is another one. Normally, this is the picture, but you can create a video engaging ad like this. You can also add text in here um, from a single image. Let me show you two more. This is another one. Normally, uh, the picture looks like this when it's still. This is a still image and you can create a video image from it. And let me show you one more. Uh, this is another one. Normally, this is a still image and as you can see, the water is moving nicely uh, and all done with Motiony. So let me show you Motiony. Let me show you how this software works um, so that you get a good idea of how simple actually it is to create video engaging ads with this software. And as you can see, here are the examples that are already made. Um, and to create a new example, you can, by the way, you can also view this as images. As you can see now, you can see exactly uh, what ad you're working on or what image or video, however you want to call it. Um, but to create a new image, you click on create new animation. So right now, let's select a file from my computer. And let me see, let's take the waterfall and let's give it a name, waterfall example and now you can create an image from or a video from that single image so here's the waterfall example when you want to edit this you click on the image oh, you click on the image and then it will load the image editor where you can create these live images and as you can see this is a still image uh, right now nothing is happening within this image and as you can see here at the top, you have a few tools. You've got a mouse pointer, you got a magnifying glass, a hand. Uh, you can also crop your files. You can change the brightness and contrast. Here you have a media library. You can add some text to the, uh, to the pictures also. Uh, but the most things that you're going to use are here at the left side. When I use this brush, uh, you can mask or you can er erase uh, certain parts of your image. How, how it works is like this. You can simply uh, go put the diameter a little bit higher and then you can draw the parts of your image that needs to be still so that you don't want to move. However, you can also say I want to mask everything so nothing is moving and then you can only uh, erase the parts that you want to move. So now I selected my erase button and I can zoom in so I can work a bit more precisely. I take my hand and now I'm going to um, take this brush again. I'm going to erase the waterfall because I want to, this waterfall needs to move, right? So let's select this waterfall in here and this part, I want this part to, to move. So let's take it like this. And by the way, the sales page says that you can do this within a minute. Um, I have to disagree with that. Probably will take you a minute or or ten to five between five and ten minutes, depending on how how difficult your picture is. Uh, some pictures are very easy to to uh, to do. Other pictures are a little harder to do so. Uh, right now, I'm running my recording software also, so it has a little bit problems because it, it takes some uh, CPU usage. Um, but let's see what we can make from this. So right now I'm doing the waterfall and let's take it like this. Okay, so this is everything that needs to move. I noticed that I grabbed a little bit on the top, so I need to delete that part also. So let me move it if my computer will work. So let's take this and let's mask this top part right here. And now let's zoom out. And also at the bottom, of course, we want, but let's play it for now. As you can see, oh, we don't, it's not moving right now, as you can see. So the only thing that you need to do is you need to add points. 
where, which direction you want this water to go. So in this case, I'm going to say I want to move it this way. I'm adding two points, as you can see right now, it's already moving, as you can see. So there needs to be, things need to be changed in this picture, as you can see. So probably I need to um, mask a bit more on the sidelines here because it's getting this dark. That's a bit strange and a little bit from the top probably. But what we're also going to do is we're going to move the waters also. So let's take the top also a little bit more here. And let's take this, this part out. So let's make it like this. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to get this water in here. We're also going to delete this part that this can be moving because we want to see this also. So let's play now and see what it does. Hit the play button. Okay, so this is not good. Do you see that? But we can fix this, nothing problems. So we still need to add more points also in here. So I'm also gonna do some points in here that the water needs to be moving here, that the water needs to be moving over here, over here, so that not everything is going in here. One thing you also need to do is there's a feather in here where you can feather the corners of um, of the masked part. So when I do this, it makes the cutoff a bit more smooth. And you can also do this with the foreground. So you have the foreground in here, you can do exactly the same. And when we do this, I expect it to be a lot better right now. So when we hit the play button, do you see how this looks like? It looks a lot better already. Here's a, a strange point, so we can add some extra points in here also. So when we do this, uh, let me add one more point in here. Um, and what we're going to do is, let me see what we got so far. Yeah, so do you see this? What we're also, what, what you can do is here in the animation settings, you can change this to a uh, serve wave effect and then to affinity. So that means that it's going to loop your effect. So when I press play right now, do you see how cool this looks like? So it needs a little bit more modification in here, but it looks all it looks pretty cool. You know, I need to get to cut this off around her, but this looks really cool as you can see here. So let, let's add a few more points. Let add a point in here and then let's take the eraser and then let's erase these parts around her hat. So to make it a bit more nice. And I think we're done right now. I think this will look pretty cool already. Let me see at the sides here, a few more things. I think that we're done right now. I think this will look pretty cool when I press play. Look how cool this looks like. And this is a still image from this person that's in front of the waterfall. And this was a single image when I opened this image on my computer. So the waterfall, this was the image that you saw, you see? So you take a single image, a single picture, and you transform that to this. I mean, this is pretty amazing. It's just like the water is is falling. If it's life, you see, the water is moving in here. It's beautiful. So you can create these things to create ads. You can also put text blocks in it. So I can add a text in here. Uh, as you can see here, you can put shadow in it. You can also change the font size, etc. Hey, I notice now that I don't see the font sizes in here. Um, so probably that's still a bug that they need to work on. I got my review copy here. So as you can see here is the text. You can change the text to whatever you want. Um, you can you can type it in here. Join the waterfalls. Uh, but you can also just export this video. So once you've done and you uh, added your image. Personally, I would not use this text editor because I don't like the fonts, etc. So what I what I do is I just go to file and I go to export to and here you got some export options. So what you can do here is you can choose from a variety of options to export this. So in this case, I would do a 1080p square video. So this becomes a square video so that I can post this on Instagram or maybe a Facebook ad. Uh, stuff like that and then here you can change the frame rate etc but i should uh, 
30 frames per second is the correct setting. I would not change this. And here you can change how many seconds you want to export this. So within the front end version, you it's, they said it was one minute, but I cannot uh, get it further than 44 seconds. Although 44 seconds is pretty, pretty nice. Um, but let's say I want to export this to 10 seconds or let's say uh, six seconds. I can export this and I can save this to a direction and it will become an mp4 file that I can use in my video production. So I can simply import this in my video editing program and I can add the fonts on it if I want to have a font on top of it, etc. So right now it's creating a sequence of frames, etc. This will take a few minutes of work of exporting uh, this video. Okay, so right now the export is done. Uh, and as you can see, here is the still image. Uh, but what we made from it is this. This is the exported file. And as you can see, this is a video done for you. And I show you the other examples. This was the resort, for example. Uh, this was the sky, which is moving. I'm pretty amazed by what you can do with this. The water hands, this one I really like. So that is uh, about motiony. So let me switch back to my camera. Now we're also going to discuss the upsells. Let me see if I can find them in here. Yes, there they are. So these are the upsells that you can expect in the funnel. So the front end is, um, it has a one-time price right now. Um, there are coupons on my site. 69 is not the price that you're going to pay. Uh, there will be an early bird of 65% off coupon. So that's, uh, I think it's between 30, almost $30 for the front end product. Then you also have the upgraded version, uh, which will give you unlimited animations uh, and unlimited length of videos. It will also give you a um, library full of pictures, uh, 1 million photos that you can use. Also, it gives you backward animation, so uh, you can reverse the effect. So the water, you can move that water up, for example, uh, and the auto save feature. Then we got the Upsell 2, which is the Motiony agency license with five sub users and unlock 1080p and 4K rendering. Then we got the Upsell 3, which is Sales Copy Maker, which is a complete uh, an app outside of this product. The same is with Upsell 4, which is Sales Video Creator, a project, product that I reviewed uh, a few months ago. Also, pretty cool. Um, software and upsell five is the explain the old player which is a video player um yeah also pretty cool player for on your websites and upsell six is not available so uh, these are the upsells that you can expect in the funnel now i'm also going to give away some bonuses uh if you decide to purchase through my link so below the video there is a link to my website um where you can see this review again where you can read a little bit more where also these upsells are mentioned um, so yeah if you want to grab it make sure you grab it through my link also uh, use the coupon codes that are on my website um, to get the discounted price and if you have any questions make sure you ask them below uh, in the comment section make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with my latest reviews and uh, well thank you for watching and uh, Hope to see you in my next review. Have an awesome day. Talk soon. Bye-bye.